this is Brian from Google Workspace Admins. Today we will take a look at Google Drive labels. So first we will begin in the Google Admin Console. Uh, so it's found under Apps, Google Workspace, Drive and Docs. And this will allow us to turn labels on. Uh, so the only setting that you have here is turn the labels off or on for the organization. And Google has a disclaimer on how the uh, labels are changing. Uh, so here is the support document here. So if your current setting is to turn the labels on, uh, all labels in the org will be set to on, resulting in no change in behavior. However, if the labels are currently off, uh, labels will be set to off, unless the label is using an active label-based rule. Uh, so if you had a some sort of like a data protection rule that were based on labels, I don't know how you might even go about doing this uh, so unless uh, an organization had previously turned on the labels, create the labels and use those rules for DLP, uh, then there shouldn't be any uh, changes in behavior, but we'll provide a link to this article in the uh, notes for the video. So going back to the actually uh, drive uh, drive.google.com forward slash labels, which is a labels manager, uh, you do have the ability to create the batch label and badge li labels are limited to one per organization. And uh, there is a larger limit for uh, the standard labels, uh, which I will just pull up uh, just quickly here, create labels for your organization. And this will let us know what the limit is. Standard label, I'll just quickly search for limit here. Uh, doesn't seem to display the limit. Uh, but we will in, uh, also uh, include this in the show notes. So here I go to the label that Steve has created and you can see that st uh, status is published and creator is Steve and we can also look at the permissions here. So we are sharing this label with the entire organization. So anyone inside the organization uh, can apply and set the label values. Or you can also do this individually here. So you can uh, either add groups or individual users, allowing them to perhaps limit their ability to view the labels only, or also allow them to change the value of the labels. So here, if you go back to the labels manager, you will see that the format is in drive.google.com slash labels, followed by the ID. So this will be the ID of the label. So I'll show you what I mean by moving on to GAM or Cloud Shell where I have GAM installed. I'll just do GAM show drive labels. So this shows us uh, what the uh, label ID is. So the at 17 refers to the number of uh, revisions that the label has. So we can see file sensitivity and revision ID, as I said earlier, is number se uh, 17. Uh, you can also uh, add full to the to the command and that will uh, allow us to see some more information, ab information about the label. So the reason why I bring this up is because we want to demonstrate uh, some of the additional IDs. So if we go back to the drive labels manager here, so this one is a drop down menu. So it has a field. So that field is a choice field, uh, as, as I like to call it. So the choice here uh, is a CB532 AC ACF. So that's the ID of the field. And here we should also have a uh, ID of the value or the selection. So there's the one selection there, which uh, is confidential. And there should be a another choice somewhere um, or selection. So the selection one, and I'll look for second field. Yeah, so there is a selection two. So we have restricted and confidential. And each of these fields or choices or the labels are represented by an ID uh, in uh, Google's uh, labels API. So here I'll just take this ID of the label and I'll just quickly do a cam user Brian show file list. 
um, and then I'll add a query here. So query is labels forward slash ID of the label. So you need to enclose that in a single quote. Uh, so I just need one slash there in labels, double quote. So this should show me all the files that I have uh, that has this um, label applied to the file. So it doesn't matter what the field or the selection is set to. So it doesn't matter whether the file has the restrict restricted label or the confidential label. It will show me all the files that has the label specified. So the, one of the reasons why I have a lot of the um, a lot of files that have the label applied is because I have the data classification set, I believe. Uh, so I'll just go to security, access and data control, and data classification. Uh, okay, so it looks like I do have the AI classification goal for Google Drive, uh, which is a beta feature, uh, which is interesting because I haven't seen it anywhere else before. Uh, so that's new. So if I click on manage here for uh, data classification, so it looks like we have a data classification set to the entire organization, as you can see. Uh, so this sort of governs the default uh, labels that get applied to a file at the time of creation. So if I go back to GAM here, I'll just instead of do a show, I'll do a print. So I'll go to the end. So I'll just specify some fields. So I'll, so I'll do I fields. ID, name of the file, and I'll also include label info and include labels. And this again is label for slash ID of the label. So it looks like that double for slash was because of my copy and paste error. And I'll probably want to add to drive at the end to create a Google Sheet instead of looking at the CSV file. So here I have the Google Sheet created. So when you return label info, uh, so it returns uh, some information information about the label here. So this column will be one because we are only returning one uh, label of the file. But as you can see here, uh, we have the uh, some IDs that we saw when we uh, looked at the label info or information about the labels. So this will tell us what uh, value of the file is. So if I, let's try opening this file here actually. So if I can just go to drive.google.com, open question mark, ID equals. So this takes me to this document. So I'll review the label here. So I do have the file sensitivity label, but I don't have the value set. So that could be why, and I grabbed the wrong one. So I'll just open this file. Okay, so this one has a confidential label. Uh, so that's sort of like so that correlates to uh, the ID that we saw. So we recommend building some sort of a dictionary uh, that correlates to either the fields or the choices inside those fields. Uh, so you can uh, query the data uh, that you generate using GAM, whether it's the file list or the list of labels. Uh, so you can. If you have any data classification needs um, using these drive labels, this is how you might go about using it, using both uh, drive API and drive labels API that supports either searching uh, for files with specific labels or whether it's applying labels to a, a list of files in Google Drive. So there are some use cases uh, that you, uh, for you to think about. So. If you found this video helpful, uh, leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach, leave a comment below or reach out to us by email at team at workspaceadmins.org. Thank you.